What is going on YouTube? So coming back today with my Wake Forest Demon Deacons preview for 2016. So talking about a team that went 3-9 and nine overall, 1-7 and seven in conference, good for 6th in the Atlantic Division of the ACC in 2016, or excuse me, 2015. So to start with the first of my three key players, I'm going to start with the presumed starting quarterback for Wake Forest, and that's John Wolford. So Wake Forest is still in the midst of a quarterback battle. I believe Wolford is the favorite to win it. He does have the stronger arm. Kendall Hinton, I believe, is one other player that is a part of this quarterback battle. But Wolford is a better thrower, and Hinton's just a better dual threat quarterback. So my second key player for Wake Forest is the sophomore running back Tyler Bell. So he'll be splitting the splitting the backfield this year with Matt Colburn. Uh, backfield that could be pretty good this year. Tyler Bell had a pretty good freshman year, around I believe 50 carries for over 400 yards. So nothing electric, but nothing bad either. Actually, my that would, uh, that would actually be really good. Oh, never mind. I don't know how much. I don't know how many carries, but yeah, it was for about 450 yards. So, the backfield's going to be big this year. Uh, they There's got to be something done to help out the passing game, just because the offensive line has not been good the last couple years. Um, it might get better this year. I believe four of the five starters along the offensive line return, but... If the passing game wants to get opened up a little bit, then the running game's going to have to be big either way. So my next key player moving over the defensive side of the ball is the linebacker, Markel Lee. Leading, ta er, leading player in tackles for loss for Wake Forest the last two years. Maybe the best player along this defense. There are actually a lot of good players on this defense, though. Um, you know, pass rush led by Wendell Dunn. Um, this defensive line is actually very experienced, all juniors and seniors. Um, then in the secondary, you got a guy in Brad Watson that should be the leader of the corners and just probably the leader of the secondary overall. So having leaders at every level, I've mentioned that a million times through my previews. It's just, it's priceless to have. So move into my first X factor, and that's the offensive line. Mentioned it earlier, the offensive line has not been good for Wake Forest the last couple of years. Um, it's hard to tell how the rest of the offense would go just because the offensive line has struggled. Injuries have been a big part of that. But again, they do have, I believe, actually all five starters coming back now. So you got the starts there. You got the experience there. It's just time to make things happen. And that leads into my second X factor, which is staying healthy. It was mainly the offensive line. The defense struggled with injuries, too. One of the bigger players along the defensive line, Duke, as you four, is definitely one of the better pass rushers they have struggled with, I believe, in concussion last year. They had a few problems in the secondary with injuries. And, you know, mainly the offensive line. Like I said, that's one of the big keys for this team this year. If healthy, this is a Wake Forest team that does have the potential to make a bowl game this year. They do have a rather friendly schedule, especially out of conference. So move into my trap game for Wake Forest, and I'm going to say that it is Tulane. A Tulane team that I don't think will be very good this year, but also at this point really any FBS team will be able to challenge Wake Forest to some degree. Again, it's the first game of the season, so if they overlook this game, then it could be a problem. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why they would, but come out strong, come out fighting, and at least get your first one of the season. So, my biggest game for Wake Forest is NC State. Um, in my mind, Wake Forest and NC State are going to be duking it out for that, maybe, maybe around that fourth spot in the Atlantic Division this year. Now, you also got to take into account just some of the other teams in the division. But, again, I think Wake Forest has a legit possibility to make a bowl game this year. And that starts with a victory over NC State. Who, is, who has been a bowl team most years last throughout the last decade. So moving to my record prediction for Wake Forest, and I think they're going to fall just shy of a bowl game at 5-7. and seven. 
Again, they do have bowl potential, but even if they go 4-0 out of conference, now the one out of conference game that kind of gets me is at Indiana because they will not be favored against Indiana. They have a couple very winnable conference games. Syracuse at home, they should be favored. Army at home, that's not conference, but you get Virginia at home. Then you also get Boston College at home. I'm thinking looking up and down the schedule, Boston College should be a win. UVA should be a toss-up. Army should be a win. Syracuse should be a win. Delaware and Tulane should be wins. But again, you still got some very tough games. At Duke's going to be tough. At FSU, um, like I said, at NC State will be tough. At Louisville and then Clemson at home. But anyway, that pretty much does it for my Wake Forest football preview for 2016. I'll be coming back a little bit later today with my Navy preview, but that's pretty much it. See ya.